to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be going over something called, um, well, liquidity pushes. Um, you guys wanted me to go over this indicator on the right hand side. Um, so that's what I'm doing. Um, I sometimes use this for my order block strategy and higher time frame strategy. I also use this to find gaps or reversals. Um, it is a little bit tricky to do um, looking back, but I'll try and find some uh, examples. It doesn't really work in hindsight because obviously the volume coming in, um, but I'll give it a go. I'll see what I can kind of do with it. Um, we might switch between a few time frames um, to explain it. So basically on the right hand side, as you can see, as I'm switching between um, time frames, uh, the volume changes. So if I go to the five minute, the volume changes. Um, as I kind of reduce the area that is on the chart, the volume is also reducing um, because it's only showing the volume where it is on the chart. Um, so let's say you only want to see this price action here. Then you would put that price action on your chart and it would show you where the volume uh, spikes and dips are. Now, in terms of spikes versus dips, for me, they mean exactly the same thing, kind of. Um, the volume spikes, to me, indicate um, that we should see some kind of move. It doesn't always mean that we're going to move in the opposite direction or a continuation. It just means that we're going to move there or volume is going to come in there. As you can see here, we have one spike here. And we have one spike here. These are the two biggest, biggest uh, spikes in volume. So what I would do is um, get a horizontal line and put them at the peak. OK, so just put them at the peak of the of the volume. So there's a few things that you can get from that, right? If we, if we just delete that um where are they right what is happening at this price so we have consolidation right consolidation we also have consolidation here the spikes in volume are typically going to come from consolidation areas because that's where the most volume happens now you can see this as either um so there's two things that you can see so when price increase or when the volume increases, there's two things that you can think of. You can either think it in terms of an entry, or you can think of it as uh, closing profits. Okay, there's two options. Um, normally, I. Um, tend to just mark the peaks and I don't actually trade at the peaks um, the the way that I like to trade or use this indicator is to look for the um, indents so where there isn't volume there's not much volume in here okay so what I will do is um, mark the high the low of that little volume and just drag that out okay and as you can see, what is here? So I'll just get rid of the drawings for a second and zoom in. So if we really, really zoom in here, right? The most of the volume comes out in here. In between that little zone in there. So what happens in between that zone? There's a few things. One, price is only going on one side. So if I just delete this, you can see that price moves down and then we come back up to that area. So inside of this, um, inside of this, you should expect a reversal. Um, and you can be even more exact than this. So something that I like to do is to pair this with round numbers. So if we just go in my scripts, round numbers, um, and zoom out a little bit more indicators oh i think i might already have it on i do okay so um i know that some of you have seen me trade round numbers in the past 
some of you haven't. Let me change the settings on this. Um, that should be working now. Yes, it is. Um, so there's a few things that you can look for. You can look for 20 levels, 50 levels, um, 80 levels, and 00, zero levels. Okay, that's what I look for. Now we have an 80 level right here. Okay, so we have a 50 level, then we have an 80 level. Um, so you can you can do something with that as well. You can mark that off if you want to. I'm not going to. I have my little zone. So all I'd be waiting for, for price to happen really is for it to come back up to that area. And when it comes back up to that area, I am then expecting a reversal. Um, sometimes it is very, very precise. Um, so what I'll do is... I mean, I can't really show it to you now. You'll have to look at your own charts, apply this to it. Um, and look for the little areas where volume is not. Um, and mark zones where that is. And then expect price to come up to that area and reverse. Um, if you do that, let me know if it works. Let me know if you have any questions. Um, if you have any questions about, you know, what's going on so far and how you can use it, etc, etc. Drop it in the comments below. I reply to every single comment that is down there. Um, so yeah, drop it in the comments below. I will reply. Um, and yeah, we can we can do that kind of uh, question and answer in the comments below. So we do have a lack of volume here as well, but that's pretty much just because we haven't seen price. Um, so I'll wait for that to load. There's a consistent volume here. Um, so there's not really much I'd be looking at. To be honest um so why does this happen right why does this happen when price so this is a good example right if we just have a look at this as i said mark out where there's no volume there's no volume in this area here why is there no volume in that area because there's only buys right there's only buys pushing this higher there's no cells coming in. So then if we just drag that across, you can see price comes into that area. Right? You can see price comes into that area. Now what this is doing is, this is filling orders that were missed here. So as price jumps higher, um, as the orders come in, it might skip a few orders and jump, right? this is just filling these uh price orders here so what you can do as well as looking for reversals is look for it to be filled and trade in that direction so when you see something like this you can be looking to take reversal trades back down to this area um now i don't do that i know traders that do um but you can do that if you want to do that uh, what I tend to do is combine this with the round numbers, with the 50s. Uh, sometimes with fibs, you can combine it with fibs as well. Um, so combine this tool with other things, and you'll find that it can get very, very precise entries. Um, I don't have any examples because I haven't used this in a while, but um, yeah. I hope this helped. I hope it's a tool that you find useful. You can find it in the volume profile with visible range. There's also fixed range. But yeah, add those to your charts. You will need TradingView Pro. Um, but once you have that, then you can add it and use it and tell me if you find uh, it useful. So I hope that you found this video useful. If you find that you have problems with it or you want to ask any questions, drop it in the comments below. I will get back to you. Um, so yeah, have a good day. Happy trading and I'll see you in the next video.